God instituted through Moses the first Passover in Exodus 12 verses 8. Yes. He said, I want you to take your best lamb. Yes. Come on, somebody. Man. You can't have any blemishes, any broken things. Your best. And they said, you're to slay that lamb. And he said, you are to roast it with fire. Right. Yes. He said, and you're not to sodden it with water. Somebody shout, don't water down the lamb. Amen. He said, the only way you're supposed to serve this lamb, you got to serve him up hot. The world, Brother Steve, sick and tired of coming to churches and watching us serve up cold cuts. When's the last time you ordered that old big, thick, juicy steak in that steakhouse and they brought it to you and it was all chilly? You didn't sit there and cut into it and say, mm, what a good steak. No, you didn't. If you had any sense about you, hallelujah, you called for that uh, waiter to come back and say, hey, buddy, you need to go stick this back in the fire. I don't want no cold steak. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbors. Say, we're tired of cold cuts. Come on, hallelujah. We need a hot lamb. Come on, because this hot lamb's coming back for a hot bride. Anybody here, Holy Ghost, I know you. I told you the bride was sick last night. And she was a bleeding bride. But I want you to know heat rises. And Job 5 and 7 said it sparks fly over. That means the Bible told us in the oldest book in the Bible, Job. Amen. That heat rises. And when Jesus comes back, he's not coming back to rapture and catch away a lukewarm bunch. Come on somebody down at the Chosen Frozen with Jack Frost at the ice pick. Come on somebody. Yeah. He's coming back for a church on fire. Yeah. He's coming back for a bride that's serving up the lamb with fire. He deserves to be served with fire. Somebody shout with passion. What you're passionate about, you're willing to give your all to. All right. You know why some people ain't passionate for Jesus no more? They want a Sunday evening, a Sunday morning. They want a weekend Jesus. All right. They want a Jesus fling. But David said, my prayers unto the God of my life, Psalms 42, verses 8. And I'd have you to know, my friends, tonight he's not coming back to this earth to catch away a girlfriend that he dates on Sunday morning. He's coming back for a bride. Come on, that's passionate for him. Hallelujah. Anybody hear Holy Ghost? In Exodus 12, he said, don't you water down. Don't you sodden this lamb with water. Roast it with fire. Look at your neighbor and say, stop watering him down. Stop extinguishing him when he's trying to move in your life. Here's one of the greatest ways you extinguish his move in your life. You're unwilling to surrender your all. He's been beckoning to somebody, give it all up. Turn it all over to me. Come on, somebody. And if you will, his fire will fall. And when his fire falls, it falls for one purpose. And that is to consume because he's a consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 29. If you're unwilling to let him consume your all, you're extinguishing his fire from heaven. You're stopping him from coming down. Somebody shout, God, don't want a little bit of me. He wants all of me. Amen. He said, when you roast this lamb with fire, he said, eat all of it, verse 10. Yeah. Exodus 12. Look at your neighbor and say, you can have just lamb chops if you want to. But I want all the lamb. I want all the lambs got to offer. I want more than a Sunday morning a chilly willy amen meeting amen with a lamb who was. I want a hot on fire lifestyle with the lamb who is and is to come. Anybody here Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God tonight is charging his church and he's wanting you to know when he comes back he's coming back for a bride that's hot. A hot bride. Hallelujah. That has a lamb serves. Somebody shout, he deserves to be served hot. Not cold. Got too many cold churches going through the religious routines. Okay, the countdown begins. The show's about to start. 
look at your nearest programs because this is what time sister so and so will sing, brother so and so will sing. The sermon's notes are to the left in the bulletin. You can follow him detail by detail. He will be through approximately at 20 till 12. And by 10 till 12, you can be released during the benediction and go find your favorite restaurant of choice. We no longer have night services, so we'll see you Wednesday night for one hour class, and we'll see you back next Sunday morning. <laughs> of this lamb. I want a lamb chop here and a lamb chop there. Come on, somebody, look at your neighbor and say, do like God told Moses. Roast the head, roast the prudence. That means everything inside. Hallelujah. Roast his outside from his head, from his snout, all the way to his end. Roast it all. And he said, don't leave nothing of it. Eat all of it. And he told him, when you eat this lamb, roast it on fire. He said, eat it with your shoes on on your feet. Eat it dressed and ready. Somebody shout those that serve the lamb hot and on fire and are passionate for him who have allowed him to consume their all. They're the ones that are rapture ready. They're the ones that are ready for this great exit that's coming in this eternal exodus that is soon to happen when he calls his bride home. A hot bride. That's the one he's calling. Listen, he said, and eat it. Exodus 12, 9, he said, eat it. Roast it with fire, not salt with water. Eat it with bitter herbs. Some might say, eat it with bitter herbs. In other words, when life gets hard, when it gets bitter, look at your neighbor and say, let it make you better. Sister, better. Hallelujah. When life gets bitter, when life gets hard, whatever you do, if you ain't careful, you'll let the devil extinguish your fire for God. Hallelujah. Don't you lose your fire. Don't you let the bitter season you're going through, amen, that you're having to eat right now. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't you let it out the lamb's fire. You better stay on fire. You better keep this lamb of God fire in your life. Come on. I don't know about you, last time I tasted bitter, it was bitter. <laughs> Somebody shout, that means it didn't taste too pleasant. Sometimes life don't taste too pleasant. It gets hard. But whatever you do, don't you dare stop praying then. Whatever you do, don't you stop going to God's house then. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, don't stop reading His Word then. Whatever you do, don't stop preaching then, preacher. That's when you need to preach. Hallelujah. When it's bitter and it's hard, that's how you keep the lamb roasted with fire, serving with fire. Hallelujah. I look at you by the Spirit of the Lord in this bitter urban season that's trying to extinguish the fire of God in your life. But God said, if you'll stand on your feet, daughter, and lift your hands to me, God says, I'll reignite you. I'll set you on fire afresh. Oh, yeah. If you feel like your fire's been going out because of the bitter herbs, hallelujah, and you feel like the fire of Him has been watered down in your life, Yes. Yeah.
hottest shot. Don't extinguish this fire. Don't quench him. Don't out him. Don't sit back on him. Don't let the devil keep you from catching on.